This week marks three years since the first deadly clashes that sparked the start of the Syrian civil war and the biggest displacement of people since World War II. Human rights groups say more than 150,000 lives have been lost. To try to survive, an incredible 2.5 million people have registered as refugees in neighbouring countries. Almost half of those forced to flee have been children. Seven's Mike Duffy travelled to Jordan, meeting families who now call 10 cities home. This is Ahmed. He's just eight years old. One, two, three, four. He used to go to a proper school, but now his classroom is this little tent in the Jordan Valley. He asked to show us around the settlement. So this is your neighbourhood? Yeah? Go on, yes. Yeah? Where he gets his drinking water and where they bathe. He explains his uncles and cousins live here too. Come on, come on, come on. We're introduced to his relatives. He seems happy enough until he tells us why his family fled Syria. He explains with his hands how helicopters swooped his street and destroyed the houses. This was an area in his home city of Hama. This is the same area almost completely destroyed one month later. His father proudly shows us pictures of their home before the war. He tells us he doesn't like the word refugee. He says all he knows is that he used to have everything and now has nothing. In the Syrian camps here in Jordan, it seems everywhere you look, there are groups of kids. Of those who fled, half were children. Their numbers boosted daily by new births. These two are among three and a half thousand babies born to refugee parents in Jordan alone. Of the two and a half million Syrian refugees, more than 600,000 live here in Jordan. Most thought they were coming for just a few months at most. Now they have no idea when it will be safe to return. Seven News travelled to Jordan with humanitarian organisation Oxfam. People have gone from beautiful homes um, with running water and as much food as they can eat um, to living in a tent with very, very little services. This week marks three years since the start of the Syrian civil war. I don't think anyone would have expected this to have gone on for as long as it, it has and with still no real sort of solution in sight. If anything, the situation is getting worse. If it doesn't end soon, camps like this will become the setting for the childhoods of an entire generation. Thank you. <laughs> Mike Duffy, 7 News. Now to donate to Oxfam Syria Appeal, you can call 1800 0 8 110. That's 1800 0 8 110.